Today, I have to say yes to my dog for 24 hours. Are you ready for this, Koa? <laughs> so obviously, Koa does not speak, but we can work our way around that. I have six different rounds of different things, and round one is what we're doing for breakfast today. So, Koa, please be nice to me. I could either eat dog food or go out for food. I think it's obvious which one I want, and I'm really hoping he chooses this one because I'm feeling under the weather today, and the last thing I wanna eat is dog food. Like, let's be real. I've eaten dog food before, but I don't wanna try it again, okay? So, I'm gonna set this up on the ground, and we're gonna see which one Koa chooses, and that's gonna determine whether he is my favorite today or not. <laughs> Just kidding. Both options are ready to go. Please, Koa, ready? Go get him. Please be nice. No! No! Koa, why? No! No! Uh. Okay, this is so on track for Koa because if you watched our previous video on the Audrey and Spencer channel, we had Koa decide our date night and he is so smart. He chooses everything that pertains to him. Like, we went to the doggy store, we went to a dog park, we got treats for him and I don't know if he knows but apparently he can read and he wants me to eat his dog food. So I guess that's what I'm having for breakfast. Koa, why did you pick that one, buddy? I so don't wanna do this, guys. Like, so Koa's up here. Here's your breakfast, buddy. Sometimes he actually, <laughs> This is probably not good, but sometimes he actually does eat his food up here with us while we're eating our own food. I grabbed myself a normal cereal bowl, got my spoon. I'm not eating out of his bowl because I don't know if he already slobbered all over it or not. So I'm pouring myself a fresh bowl of kibble. Chicken flavored. Dude, seriously? Seriously? He's like, if I have to eat it, Mom, you have to eat it too. Dude, I don't want to eat this. I'm going to vomit. I'm going to vomit. Okay, okay, fine. I'll do it. Okay. <sighs> it's rock hard. Wow. Oh, oh. Well, well, oh my mama. Guys, my stomach seriously hurts after that. <sighs> We're off to a little bit of a rough start, but we can only go up from here, right? <laughs> Okay, this next round is shopping. So we have home shopping, which I can go and get home decor, Christmas decorations, Christmas gift ideas, stuff for me that I just maybe see, I don't know. Or I can spoil Koa and do some pet shopping. I think he's gonna choose pet shopping because Koa is biased and he knows how to read apparently. But let's see which one he picks. All right, are you ready, Koa? You ready to go pick? Ready, set, go get it. Crazy. Literally, he is already on track to just pick everything for him. You know what? I'm not too mad about it though. All the time when I'm out shopping, I always pick up something extra for Koa just because I love him so much. And so I recently got a gift card to a place that has a lot of pet stuff. So it's free, right? Free, right? All right, I'm here at the store in the doggy aisle. So this one has all the treats. There's lots of like training treats, little bones. These ones are like other, like bigger dog shoes. And so I'm trying to decide what to get Koa because he's pretty spoiled. He has a lot of stuff already. They also have a lot of dog beds and a ton of dog toys. And Koa has been going through his toys really fast. Like every day he's like shredding a new toy. Probably gonna get him some. They have some cute Christmas ones. Look at these cute Christmas ones and they're bite force. So in theory, they should last longer than normal toys. They're so cute too. Like I can get him some and save it for Christmas for him and then give him some right now. Here's some ornaments. Oh my goodness, they even have <laughs> Halloween still. That's cute. Oh, and another snuffle mat. He loves these things. He loves finding the treats in them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's fun <laughs> for Halloween. Oh my goodness. So many options, so we have a lot to look through. We even have this side too, more like outdoorsy um, toys. 
Oh my gosh, they have the cutest little dog sweaters. Are you, oh. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me though? These are adorable. So they have these red moose ones. They've got this moose one, this brown one. So many cute patterns, even like coats, full on coats. Here's some more stuff. Um, it's more like waterproof material. They have some more over here for pink, purple. That's so cute. The candy canes, the reindeer. That's gonna be hard to choose. I think we should get one for him though. He doesn't have any like winter wear and this is his first ever time experiencing snow oh my goodness i love that these are stretchy too they even have little pet stockings which i feel like we just have to get we've never experienced christmas with our own dog before i really love this one so i might get this one it's not gonna match our existing stockings but it's really cute for 10 bucks I think we need to add this one to the cart. I'm back from the store and I absolutely spoiled Koa. I got so many things. So I'm gonna give you a little doggy haul. So a lot of these things are for Christmas. He's not gonna get them all right now. I even spoiled Logan and Atlas and I'm getting them all some presents this year. I got three of these little dinosaurs with Santa riding on the T-Rex and they're so cute. But the reason why I got three is because every dog has to have the exact same toy or they'll get jealous and steal each other's toys. So I got Logan one, Atlas one and koa and i'm saving these to put in their stockings or wrap them up as christmas presents <laughs> but i think they're gonna love this okay i did end up getting the doggy stocking and it is so cute i love the knitted part and then of course the little pom-poms and it has like the doggy footprint so cute. I mean, it's neutral enough. Like, it's not gonna match our stockings exactly, but I had to get it. It was 10 bucks. I also got this doggy toy, and I don't really like to buy dog toys at, like, full price. I like to find them less than 5 bucks. Like, ideally, $3 would be amazing. This one was, I think, $10, though, but it's supposed to be indestructible. It's supposed to hold up super well because it has double knitting, and it's so cute, and I think I'm gonna save this one for Christmas, too. Koa might not be surprised about his Christmas gifts because he's literally sitting right here watching me do this haul. <laughs> I also got Koa his first ever winter outfit and I went with the red moose print. I think it's so cute. So I, we should try it on today and see if it fits. I think I got his right size but I'm not sure but just so cozy and warm for winter and I know we're going to be going on walks and taking some hikes during the winter and I don't want him to be cold. I mean he has like a thick layer of fur to keep him warm but this will help him even more stay warm. I got this little reindeer tug toy and it squeaks right here and right here it's just so fun because you can play tug of war yeah you want to play tug of war see he already wants this and it's a little reindeer and we got i had to get this one because this one was five bucks and it was so weird <laughs> so it's santa but apparently when you shake it it giggles <laughs> I don't know, we haven't ever gotten a toy like this before, so we had to try it. I also got this doggy cool mat for Atlas for Christmas because Koa currently has an orange one and he loves it. He uses it every day. Basically, the dogs lay down on this and it has gel on the inside of it. And so it helps cool off their body temperature. You don't need to freeze it. You don't need to refrigerate it, nothing like that. It just stays cool. And so even though they won't really need this during the winter, this is gonna be so nice during the summer and Atlas loves the cold. Atlas loves snow and Atlas gets overheated really quickly because he just has so much fur and fluff. So I think he'll really enjoy this and then he'll have a little matching cooling mat with Koa. Okay, the last thing I got, which I think we should have Koa play with right now is this Topsy treat ball. Um, so you uh, take out the little blue ball inside there and you put the treats in and then you stick it all back in here. And it's kind of like a little brain activity where they have to roll the ball around to try to get the treats out so it's a puzzle and also a game at the same time so i think this will be super fun let's open this up let's get his outfit on and i would say that is a pretty successful shopping haul someone is super excited about this puzzle are you so ready he's being such a good boy today okay so i took the little blue ball out and i have his treats so we're gonna fill it up and these are the treats you're gonna have to try to get out okay now I'm gonna stick it in here. 
like so, and then I'm gonna seal it with this orange ring so it doesn't fall out. And now we're gonna see if Koa can get the treats out of here. Are you ready, buddy? I don't know why, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm just as excited as he is about this. Okay, here you go, buddy. Try to get the treats out. Try to get your treaties out. They're in the ball. Good boy. Oh, you gotta get him. They're in the ball. He smells them, but he just can't figure it out. Koa, you got this, you're smart. Oh, did you get one? Oh my gosh, I think he already got one. That was fast. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, they're falling out like crazy! Maybe this isn't that difficult. <laughs> Wait, that's cheating! You can't put your snout in there, that's cheating! I think he likes this, I think it's fun for him. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's so good at this game. I'm gonna keep letting him play with that a little more, and we'll try on his outfit, and then we'll move on to the next thing that he decides what we do today. Here's Koa in his outfit. Sit, Koa, sit! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it fits perfectly. It is so cute on him. You are so fancy, buddy. This next round is learning a new trick. So we either have Koa learns a new trick or I learn a new trick. So Koa is right here, mine is over there. I don't know if he wants to learn a new trick or not. I don't know, if, it, if yes. it's all about him, he's gonna pick Koa learns a new <laughs> trick. But if he doesn't wanna learn a new trick, he's gonna pick me. Okay, are you ready, buddy? Ready. Ready, set. Go pick! Go get it. Oh! He chose first. Koa learns a new trick. This is perfect because if it got Aj learns a new trick, I would learn Spanish on Duolingo, which I have not done in years. My streak is gonzo. But there has been a new trick I found on Instagram that I want to train Koa to learn, and I'm going to need the help of a second person. So Spencer's here. That's me. So the trick that I found is called back stall. <laughs> it looks he's like gonna get this. <laughs> well, it breaks down step by step. So we're gonna do like the first step today, since he's never ever learned this before. So first, you have to <laughs> get him That's used to what stepping. I have to on... do is... He has to get used to stepping on you first. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then you work your way up to like slowly standing up and like having him. He's already been able to jump on a chair, so. That's true. He knows he can that. Jump high. Yeah, he can jump really high. But then you get him used to jumping on your back until you can like jump on your back and then stand up with him on it. Let's do that today. Do you want to be the one where he jumps on? Or... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna be the one giving him the treat whenever he steps on your back. Ready? Come on. Good boy. So he's not fully on your back, but we'll we'll get him there. Come here, Coco. Come here. Come here. Koa, come here. Come here. Yes, good boy, good boy. Okay, he's getting there. I'm not pairing it with a word yet. We'll get there like towards the end, but come here. Yes, good boy. <laughs> he's like fully laying on you. Okay, okay, Koa, off. Good boy. Ready? Yes, good boy! He's doing it! He's doing it! You ready? Okay. Yes, good boy! This is going so well. He's actually really fast at learning new tricks. Jump up! Yes! Good boy! You doing good there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, come on. Up! Good boy! Jump up! Whoa, oh. okay, come on, jump up, jump up, jump up, yes, jump up, 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 <laughs> he's like around your neck, oh, up, God. up, go up, 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 yes, oh, he got it, he got it for a second, ready, up, up, yes, good boy, good boy, that's a good boy, oh my gosh, he's doing it, guys. He's learning so fast. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Look, he's, he can't really see, but he's balancing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, one more time, one more time. Off. I Good boy. You have underestimated the intelligence of our boy once again. Okay, on. Yes. Good boy. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, he is so smart. So we're gonna keep work. Actually, do you think we could just move on to the next step? Yeah, I can try going up higher on like my hands and knees. Okay, let's try that. Ready? On! Yes, good boy! We've got a little circus dog over here. Yeah. You wanna go to the doggy Olympics? You are so smart. Okay, off. He could jump so high. Oh my goodness. On! Yes, good boy! <laughs> That's a good boy. Buddy. That's a good boy. Okay, next step, I guess. We could learn this whole trick in one sitting. You're so close, buddy. Good boy, yes! Good boy! It's hard for him to balance. He's yeah. trying. Wait, you think I could. Oh. Uh, he jumped off. He's probably like. He gets a little freaked out when the thing that he's trying to stand on moves. Understandable. Like if, he's, if he's standing on one of. or sitting on one of our counter stools, if I start moving the stool, he gets off right away. And you get to that point. Yeah. She's not fully standing, but she's like. She's like crouch standing, if that makes sense. Right. So we need to get to that point where you can just like. Yeah. <laughs> and then he jumps up on your back. Are you ready, Koa? Come here. Jump up. Jump up. He's like, what? <laughs> you can't see him right now, but. Okay, Koa, jump up. Yes! <gasps> good good boy. boy! Oh my gosh, it's a good boy! What? <laughs> we Dude. got a little circus dog. Can I stand up? Will you oh let me stand gosh. up more? No. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, let us know what other tricks we should teach Koa in the comments down below. Okay, this next round is doggy play date where we go over to Atlas and Logan's house or game night, which means I get to go play games with my family or Spencer, but Spencer has to work on school. So I think I'll just go play board games. So Koa, I think he's gonna choose doggy play date because he loves his friends, but let's see which one he goes for. You ready? Set, go choose. Oh, oh who did it? Gosh. Who would have known? Who would have guessed? Oh man! <laughs> okay, Literally? okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can we take a second to appreciate that this is a continuation, essentially, of a video we did on That's our what combined I said channel? That's and what I he said is like probably at like eight or nine in a row of choosing what is best for, for him. him. He is so smart. And like, like, guys, this is not rigged. No, like, <laughs> this is like I even shocking. Made, I made everything the same color so that he wouldn't like have a preference. I'm giving him the same treat, yeah. making him the same space apart. I've been switching apart. sides too. I've been switching sides. Like you put, you don't always put his on the left. And like these are the first sides. takes too. Like yeah. this isn't like take two or whatever. This is nuts. Like he is so so smart. I would I would be like okay well it's like a 50 50 chance each time but like what are the statistical odds that he chooses his right answer nine times in a row when it's a 50 50. <laughs> That's nuts. He is like smarter he than knows. You think. Yeah. I don't know how he knows, but he knows. He knows. And I'm not even saying like this one's doggy play day. And the uh, I'm like, I'm not even pointing them out to him. Yeah. He just I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm at a loss for words with this guy. Okay, let's call my family and see if Atlas and Logan can play. <laughs> We're FaceTiming my mom right now. Can Koa play? <laughs> Can Koa play today? Sure. <laughs> okay, we're headed over then. Okay, we're arriving. <laughs> okay, knock on the door, Koa. Knock on the door. Your friends here? Do you hear your friends? So Logan and Atlas love to play wrestle. It may look like they're being mean, but really they're just they're just playing. <laughs> so Koa goes right for the ears, and then Atlas like like pushes his arm down or pushes his head down with his arms. And yeah, the growl sounds so mean, but they're the bestest of buds. Like they just love to run and chase each other and tackle and. <laughs> They get all their energy out this way. All right, let's play keep away, boys. Go run! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All three dogs, can you even see them? Oh my gosh. Run, 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 Oh my gosh. Who's the fastest? They love this so much. Hey, this is gonna wear them out. This is good. Maybe we'll get some nap time in today. 
<laughs> Even Logan's joining in, and Logan is 11. Like, Logan's like a little old boy. Do you like that, Mookie? Is that fun for chase. you? He loves playing chase. Oh, look at Alice. Oh, Alice, run. Alice, run. He loves playing chase. Go oh, he's got, he's got the go toy get now. Get him, Logan. Go get Atlas, come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's get him. Let's go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> I think Koa's bigger than Logan now in height. He's he's approaching Atlas. Like if you look, it's hard to tell because they're like running. But Koa has outgrown Logan by a little bit and is quickly approaching Atlas's height, which is crazy. Last night I was going through photos of when I first got him and I was like, oh my gosh, he was tiny. I could easily hold him in my arms. Now I pick him up. I'm like, oh, like he's heavy. He's my big little boy. Oh, Koa, are you having so much fun with your friends? Oh, that was good. Okay. He won. <laughs> he won. Guess what time it is? It's bath time. Oh, Logie oh. hates the bath. Okay, So I'm going to be jamming out to my tunes, <laughs> and he's going to be shaking in his, his boots. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Logie, let's go. Let's go take a bath. Oh, no. Hey, it's bath time. Got to get it up to temperature so it's not too cold, not yeah. too warm. He's got his ears clean. Yeah. He's such a good boy. You are, Logan. You're a good boy. He does not like bath. No, he's like a cat. He really he, is like a cat, he, though. His legs, he's all shaking. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? He's so nervous. Why are you so nervous? Hi, friends. Hey, you want to take oh. a bath? <laughs> they think you're holding a bone. Come here, come here. Look at Logan. Look at Logan. Come here. Come Back. He got one a couple days ago. Actually, he got one yesterday. That was yesterday. Ko and I are back home now. He had so much fun playing with his friends. In fact, we came home and we both crashed. We both just took a fat nap. We're feeling a little bit re-energized again. And our next category is baking related. I feel like I haven't done any like baking things on this channel for a while, but stay tuned because we got a fun baking video coming up. Um, so we have either bake a dog treat, which I think Ko is gonna choose because he's on a track record of picking things that relate to him and he would love a dog treat or bake some chocolate chip cookies. Nothing is better than ooey gooey homemade chocolate chip cookies. So I personally really want this one. If he picks baked cookies, I'll give him a bone. So either way, he'll get a treat, but it's either, is it a homemade dog treat or I get a treat? <laughs> All right, let's set these up and see what he chooses. All right, Koa, the choice is yours. Which one are you going to choose? You can go, let's go, come on, go get a treat. Are you still tired? Are you still tired from your nap? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh boy. He's coming towards the dog treat. Oh my gosh, no way. No way! No way! Spencer looked this up. The probability of Koa getting 11, 11 things in a row that pertains to him, like the right choice, I guess, is 0.05%. This is crazy. Okay, well now I gotta look up a dog treat recipe. I already have some ingredients at home. I have doggy safe peanut butter, and I have some stuff left over from the last time we did a doggy bake off. So hopefully I don't have to go to the store for this one because I really don't want to go out again. But let's look up a recipe and bake Koa a yummy treat. I found a three ingredient dog treat recipe from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. It's called Easy Homemade Dog Treats. And the first step is to take your oats, you can use rolled oats, old fashioned oats, quick oats. I'm gonna use the oats I used and last time um, when I baked Koa um, dog treats. So I'm taking a cup of that and we're gonna blend it in here until it's a very fine powder. So let's do that. While we're doing that, the oven is also preheating to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So, okay, I think we're ready. All right, we got it into a fine powder. And I think Koa is so excited to try his dog treat. He's just sitting and watching. We're almost done, like this is literally so easy. So now we gotta add in a ripe banana and I'm so glad we're using a banana for this recipe because this one is getting very brown, so it's still good. Um, but we get to use it up, which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna add that in to the mixture. 
And then I'm gonna add in a fourth of a cup of peanut butter. This is dog safe because it doesn't have xylitol. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the ingredient, but not all peanut butters are safe for dogs, so just check your ingredients on the back to be sure yours is. Okay, I am allergic to this actually, so this is very fun for me. But I'm, oh, it smells. Okay, I'm adding a fourth of a cup into the blender. Koa, do you wanna lick the spoon? <laughs> People might find this gross, but I'm just gonna wash it, so I think it's okay. <laughs> we have Chef Spence in the house taking over for me. He's just gonna handle the food since it has peanut butter in it. <laughs> I'm okay to touch peanut butter, but I just prefer not to because I'm not really feeling well today, and I just don't wanna like accidentally flare up any allergies. So Spencer's gonna roll it out and then cookie cutter into it. We laid out some oat flour, I think that's what it was, and the smallest cookie cookie cutter that we had was a Christmas tree, so he gets Christmas tree treats today. <laughs> Here you go. Yay! Are you so excited, buddy? Koa, Koa, are you so excited? Well, that's baking in the oven for 30 minutes. We are doing our last activity, which is Koa spa night or Aj spa night. Now, I think Koa's actually gonna choose Aj spa night for this one because he doesn't want a spa night. And I hope that's the case because I do want a spa night. So, are we ready, Koa? All right, go choose. Let's see which one he chooses. Go get it. Go get it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, he chose him! I mean, it does pertain to him once again. Koa spa night. Okay, you guys may be wondering how we're gonna do a spa night with our dog. Well, let me show you. You're gonna get pampered, buddy. <laughs> All right, Koa, it's time to get into zen mode. <laughs> you gotta tuck your hair back. Sit, Coco, sit. Good boy. You gotta tuck your hair back. <laughs> okay. Come look, come look. Wait, wait, I gotta do it like this. Come here. Okay, sit. <laughs> <laughs> it is not one. It's How do you do this? Wait, this is different on a dog than a human. I'm trying to position the head thing. Okay, this works. <laughs> it got his hair out of his face, aka his ears. Okay, Koa. Now we're gonna use the jade roller. Koa, you're supposed to look so pretty. That's your spa headband. Koa. <laughs> okay, you gotta get into total relaxation zen mode, okay? Stay. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is this mother? Come here. Ooh, relaxation. Here, let's try it on your booty right now. Maybe we'll get used to the jade roller and we'll move to the face. You chose this, Koa. You did choose you did choose this. Ooh, so relaxing. So spa. So zen. Okay, Koa. Serious, that's not zen. Girly pop. That's not zen. Ooh, so zen. So zen. So zen. I'm really trying to make this aesthetic. I see all those like dog reels of like, oh, it's bath time, and they literally put this thing on them. They do this. They like paint like doggy nail polish and like get them all like scrubbed up with the soap and the massage. My dog. He ain't like the other girls, like he hates this apparently. <laughs> the other thing we're gonna do is like being for real, this is actually nice for your dog. We like to do this after bath time when he's settling down and so he might not be as cooperative right now because he's gonna wanna eat it. But we like to put coconut oil on his toe pads just to keep them healthy, especially since we go on a lot of walks and they can get prone to drying and cracking. Sit, come on, sit, good boy. I'm gonna get it all liquidy on my hands. And let's take your paw. I'm just gonna massage it into his paws. He's gonna try to lick it up, but I'm gonna try to massage it in as much as possible. Coconut oil is actually so beneficial in so many ways for both humans and dogs. I mean, you can cook with it, you can use it for skin, like, there's, it's so versatile. Yeah, and you like it. Isn't that yummy? <laughs> We don't feed it to him that often. It's just when we're doing this, he like takes a little lick. 
<laughs> so zen. So zen. All right, you got this? Mm -hmm. I'm rubbing it. Oh. It looks like a gremlin trying to get to it. <laughs> That's my son for you. All right, we're going to fish that up, and then let's give him his doggy treat that we just baked. Koa was just laying on his cooling mat, but his treats just finished baking and cooling, and so we're going to have him try it. Coco, do you want treats? Do you want to try your treat? Come here, you go. Let's see if you like it. So Koa likes most things, but he definitely does not have a sweet tooth. Like he hates strawberries, which is so interesting. But he likes a lot of vegetables, and it looks like he likes this treat. He's munching on it real fast. You like your treat, buddy? He's been such a good boy today, and today has been so much fun. Having Koa decide my day, saying yes to him for 24 hours. Let me know, should we do this again? <laughs> I think he chose a pretty, he did pretty well, except for the first round where I had eat dog food. Not fun. Anyways, that's going to be it from us today. We hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to give a big pause up, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!